All right, so here um, is a little animation I want us to take a look at that will take us through the solid, liquid, and gas state. Here you see in a beaker and a hot plate this solid substance. Notice it has this definite shape. Um, here, this is supposed to be like a, a magnifier where you can see it on the particle level. So let's take a look at the solid molecules and how they behave at room temperature. Notice, as we talked about, solids are arranged in a tight, regular pattern. And notice there is some movement here. They're vibrating in fixed positions. This is the characteristic of a solid. This is how you should picture the particles of a solid. Now, we can heat this up. So we're going to heat it. Notice here the temperature rises. Here in the beaker, you would see it form a liquid. And here's what's happening on the molecular level. Notice there's lots of movement there. Particles are flowing. They're sliding past one another. They have more kinetic energy than the solid particles have. But they are still touching. That's why they're incompressible. We could continue to heat it more. Notice here you see the bubbles. You see the vapor. Gases have a lot of kinetic energy. So they are going to be spread out. That's why they're compressible. We can remove the heat and cool it down. Notice if you stop heating it, the vapor condenses and you're back to your liquid. And we could cool it even more. And notice now it's like frozen is what we would call it if you let it solidify and we're back to our solid. Okay, I hope this helped.